What's up and welcome back to my channel. So today is another meal prep video, but I'm also gonna be doing my meal planning because the goal of this video is for me to only buy a couple things at the grocery store that I think that we're gonna need this week. And part of the reason is I do still have food from last week. So I wanna make sure that I'm going to be using up like the meat that I had in the freezer or some of the canned like tuna and salmon. I have a couple bags of like frozen vegetables in the freezer and stuff. But the reason I'm like really paying attention to this is it's about the end of the month. There's only one week left before September and I'm going to be doing like a special, I think I'm gonna do carnivore in September or at least try to. I'm not gonna say that I'm doing it for the whole month, but I thought if I do meal prep videos in September, you'll see that I'm doing carnivore. I was thinking of doing like a whole type of experiment to eat according to like how my cycle is because Leanne Vogel has this whole um, like page in her keto diet book that she just came out with, the keto diet cookbook. And I was really interested in doing that, but I'm also having an IUI done like in a couple days, I guess. And so if I get pregnant, of course my cycle is not gonna be the same. So we're just kind of like playing it by ear, but I really wanted to try carnivore again since I felt so great on it. So I ordered my butcher box and stuff and you'll see a video of like the butcher box and all that type of stuff. Um, probably next week. Yeah, like right before September starting. So I am going to be looking through um, this Cribble Keto Cookbook. I don't know if I'm really meal planning from this just because I need to first make meals that are gonna be using up like my groceries and then whatever I need at the store, like for instance, like half and half and eggs, things like that, I will go to the store and pick them up. Or if it's a recipe that I could use like my canned salmon and some vegetables in like the freezer, but maybe I need like one thing, I'll go buy it. But this is the same author as the dairy-free keto cookbook that I was telling you guys about in my last two meal prep videos. Um, but this was her first paperback. And so this one does have dairy. I just wanted to look through it really quick and see if there were any meals from this book, or especially if I don't have enough meals to get through the whole week, I might pick like one or two out of this book until I go to do whatever I'm doing for September. How I meal plan, I actually, like I don't really have, I don't know. I don't know if I have like actual tips or anything like that, but for today, I'm going to be looking in my freezer, in my fridge and in my pantry and just kind of seeing like what are my base proteins that I could work off of? What are the vegetables that I have that I could work off of? Today might be more of a like protein vegetable type week to be making stuff. So instead of making like a big casserole where you need to like pick up a bunch of different things, it might be like, okay, let's um, cook some burgers and let's cook some vegetables and eat them together, you know, that type of thing. That works out really well, especially if you're like budgeting with your meal planning system and you just don't have the money to go and buy all of the other ingredients that a lot of times recipes need. The cheapest way to like eat healthy is to just buy your cheapest protein that you can find or what's ever on sale and buy your vegetables. Frozen vegetables are amazing because then you don't have to worry about them going bad and they're pretty cheap. Like they're like a dollar a bag and then just have some of your favorite like fats like I have homemade mayo around all the time. I have butter all the time. I have a whole like fat corner. It's over there. So over there I have bacon grease in a little like cup that I always save anytime I make bacon. I have butter, I have coconut oil, I have MCT oil, avocado oil, and some tallow. So obviously you don't have to have that many fats, but I love like cooking with different ones. I love the tallow for when I'm cooking like onions. They are so good in my cast iron pan. I, they're just delicious. So I'm gonna go look really quick and see like what I have and um, try and just figure out like what I could do from that. So I actually, I was gonna do tuna salad with the cans of tuna I have, but the other night I remembered that my mom used to make like tuna casserole and I love tuna casserole so much, but I was thinking of somehow like making it keto. I don't know if I have frozen cauliflower, but I do have fresh cauliflower, but maybe I'll just pick up some frozen cauliflower. But I was thinking of making like a cream of mushroom sauce because I have mushrooms that I need to make up and then tuna and then cauliflower and maybe like some broccoli too and just kind of like making it into like 
a casserole dish and like baking it. Kind of the same as elbow noodles, right? Like, I don't know, but I, it sounds delicious to me. And then that way, cause we do have a lot of fish to eat this week. Cause I didn't really plan well, I guess on my other two meal prep videos, I have a whole bag of salmon. I have a couple canned salmons that I'll probably make into salmon patties. And then the tuna, which is probably tuna casserole. Whoops, we're eating seafood this week, I guess. Okay, let's just take a quick look at my freezer. Um, like I said before, those are just regular buns that I have frozen for when guests come over. Um, this is a sauce, so I could do something with a tomato sauce. Um, these are just some broths that I saved. Um, that's just some ice cream, some fat bombs. And then I have two things of ground beef down here. And let's see what we have in here. So we still have cauliflower medley. Actually, that would be good for tuna casserole. And we have some rice cauliflower. So three bags of rice cauliflower, two of the California blend, and two bags of broccoli. That's actually pretty good. We have a whole bag of salmon that we can eat. I think these are berries. So maybe I'll get some yogurt. My husband hasn't had yogurt in a while, so we'll just have like yogurt and berries for like some breakfasts or something. And I have, I do definitely need to get some half and half. These are my cold brews. I need to get more of those. I have more of these in the in the cabinet or in the pantry, so I don't have to get more of those. I will get more eggs. These are two full ones, and then this just has two left, but like eggs, I might just hard boil a bunch for some snacks, and eggs are pretty cheap. Plus, I'm gonna be using eggs in carnivore anyway. Then I still have some like, this is like dessert bread I made. Um, this we just need to like use up, so maybe we can just eat some like salad or something with the tuna patties. These are just like, you know, my mayo, pickled onions, pickles. I pulled this out of the freezer because I had these frozen. So this is the ground pork I was gonna make into a like cabbage vegetable soup. And then these are just like burger patties that I'm going to cook with mushrooms and onions with a gravy. This is leftover peanut dressing. In here, I have some sour cream, some Parmesan cheese, mozzarella cheese, a little bit of cream cheese. These are hummuses, so I might pick up just some cucumbers or something so we can use those. A bunch of avocados, I put them in here so they don't get like ruined. Then we have some radishes, mushrooms, broccoli, um, uh, what is this called? Cauliflower, some cabbage that I really need to use up because it's been in here for a while. So I can just cut off like the brown parts and put it in a soup. Carrots, one pepper. So that's probably all the stuff. I'll just make it to one big like soup with this ground pork. And then down here is just cilantro, lemons, limes, ginger, and garlic. And then in the pantry, I do wanna grab more almond flour because I just love always having it on hand whether or not I'm going to need it this week. And then down here, I already have my broth for soup. I already have some like diced and crushed tomatoes, some tomato paste. This is the tuna. I have two of these salmons. We have some olives and sardines. I already have coconut milk and like a bunch of like extra stuff in the back. I will grab some more of these K-Cups because they just work really well for my husband when he wakes up like super early. It's just really easy. This is just like extra like snacks and stuff. I'm not even gonna get any of those. We already have our Zevias right there. And it looks like we already have a bunch of onions because I bought some last week. So I won't even need onions. I don't need any nut butters because we have plenty of those. We have plenty of nuts, so I don't have to buy any of that. I think I might, nope, I don't even need to buy any regular coffee because I have a whole bunch of decaf right there. And then this is a whole one that um, I can grind into here to use. And I have plenty of tea, so I don't need any of that stuff. So it looks like we actually have like a pretty good array of food. So I just need to find a couple recipes and write down like the meals that I'm planning on making for this coming week. So I actually, I have these like sticky notepads I really like using them because I write my like meals and stuff in my actual bullet journal. I used to write my like grocery list in here, but then I found that I was just kind of like, you know, if I had something, it was like this whole page was just a grocery list and you never go back to it. So instead of filling up my journal with a bunch of grocery lists, I decided to start writing them on sticky notes. I can put them in my bullet journal cause that's like what I bring to the store. And that's what I have my meals on. But then that way, like for instance, this is my like weekly. I just will write my meals here. I'll stick the post-it notes with like the grocery list while I'm at the store. And then I can just peel them off cause I don't need to know what groceries that I need after I go get groceries. So then I just look at the meals. So 
let's go ahead and I'm gonna write down actually like what I was thinking um, for the meals. So let me write down two notes. that I think I can make. I only wrote down like two other things really that I had to like find a recipe for. So we're gonna have tuna casserole, which is gonna use up the tuna and it's gonna use up the like cauliflower broccoli carrot mix that I have in the freezer. And I am grabbing some heavy cream for that um, and some shredded cheddar cheese so I can just like mix it in as if it's like a casserole and bake it. Plus I might also throw in a couple like mushrooms to make like a cream of mushroom soup type of thing. Then the steak, it's like those burgers that I have and I'm making mushrooms and onions with them with like a gravy. And then that whole head of cauliflower, I was thinking of roasting because we really like roasted cauliflower or even mashed cauliflower. Salmon patties, I have everything that I need to make those and we can have them just with like some cauliflower rice and broccoli or radishes, you know, just using up the vegetables, the pork and vegetable soup. I wanna use up some cauliflower rice, the ground pork, the um, like mushrooms and broccoli, everything that I kind of have in the drawer that's not being used for something else. The berries, I thought we could have some yogurt parfaits because I also have some like uh, candied nuts for those. Mac Daddy salad um, is like a burger, like ground beef burger salad with pickles and Thousand Island dressing. It's like a, uh, what do you call that? A Big Mac. And so I already have ground beef for that. I just need to get a little bit more lettuce. I'm gonna use up the old lettuce that I have and then I'm just gonna pick up a little bit more lettuce, like probably just the bags of iceberg that are really cheap. We're also gonna have some taco salad because I also have ground beef and I have sour cream and I have, um, I'm gonna have some cheddar cheese for some other recipes. Um, and what else did I have? Oh, like jalapenos and stuff to use up. Then these are like corn dog things. I have a little bit of cream cheese to use up, a little bit of mozzarella cheese, shredded mozzarella, and almond flour, and that can make like the fathead dough. All I need to do is get some hot dogs, and that's a good lunch that my husband can take. And then I'm gonna make some hard boiled eggs for some snacks. Oh, also the taco salad, I can use up some of the avocados and I might use up some of those avocados in a brownie recipe that I have on my channel. I'll try and link it up above or down below for you guys. So I might make some brownies for this week as like our dessert, which also will use up some of the avocados as well. So I think that this looks pretty good because um, we only have like one week left and I'm pretty sure that this will last us like the whole entire week. I'm also picking up the half and half cold brew, um, some almond flour so I don't run out, and distilled water because I like to make our coffee with distilled water. But other than that, I'm pretty sure that this is it. Okay, so I just got back from Aldi. This is all of the groceries that I got for this week and it was about $50 right on the dot. It was like $50 and some change. So this is actually just for today. I just got myself a little treat. I love kombucha. And so I usually get a bottle when I go to the grocery store. I got some salsa because we were out of that. And with having taco salad, like I just like to always have salsa in my house. This is the yogurt for the yogurt parfaits. I did get two regular half and halves because Aldi doesn't have organic half and half and I didn't wanna to have to travel to different stores. And then I got two heavy whipping creams because I need to use them for some of the soup and the tuna casserole recipe. I got two more eggs because eggs, like they last for forever. So even if we don't use them all, plus they're great snacks, they're an easy breakfast and I can use them to bake things if I need to make like bread or something with running out of meals. I got two bags of just this garden salad, a bag of shredded mild cheddar, the uncured beef hot dogs to make those. 
I got one bag of carrots so that way my husband can eat them with the hummus packets that are in there. I got this organic cold brew because Aldi didn't have the Stoke cold brew, but I'm addicted to cold brew. And then I got a small thing of organic, um, these are the K-cups for the coffee. And I like that Aldi actually has organic K-cups, so I have to try this one. I haven't tried these yet before, but like I said, it's easy for my husband to use K-cups in the early, early morning. And then some almond flour because I usually buy like the really big bag from Walmart, but since I wasn't going to Walmart, I decided to just pick up this little bag. I think it's a pound, yeah. This little bag just so that way I don't run out of almond flour because like I said, it's nice to have like eggs and almond flour around in case I needed to make like a dessert or bread or something to like fix a craving. <laughs> so that's everything that I got. And so now let's go ahead and meal prep for this week. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna get out my Instapot. I have mine linked down below in case you guys are interested. One of my favorite kitchen appliances that I have, and one day I'll do a whole video about it. I'm just adding the pork with coconut oil, onion, celery. I'm literally just using up like every single vegetable that I had in my fridge. This is a great thing to do. Like soup is one of the best meals in my opinion to make because it lasts so long and you can use up a bunch of things. So I had some old broccoli, some old mushrooms. I added garlic. I'm adding the old cabbage that I just cut off the brown spots of. I'm adding some chicken broth and also some radishes. I added red pepper flakes, salt and pepper, and some bay leaves, like two bay leaves. I really like adding radishes to my soups because they kind of cook up and taste just like potatoes. They don't have like a radish flavor once they've been cooked. I'm just gonna pressure cook this. It literally only takes like 10 minutes. Then I'm going to be working on the tuna casserole. I am literally just making this up as I go. It's kind of like the tuna casserole that my mom used to make, except I don't have macaronis and I can't have peas. So I just kind of like put it all together. I'm using canned tuna, a bunch of the vegetables I had in my freezer, some cauliflower rice, some onion, some butter, thyme, salt and pepper. And then I'm adding a whole bunch of heavy cream and some cheddar cheese. And I also added some mushrooms because I kind of wanted to replicate like the cream of mushroom soup that my mom would use to make her tuna casserole. And I'm eating it for lunch at the moment, like while I'm speaking and it's absolutely amazing. So I'm gonna try and turn that into a recipe video for you guys. Next up, I'm making salmon patties and I actually already have this as a recipe video. So I will link it above and down below for you because I make these a lot and they're really good. Just cold out of the fridge with mustard. They're delicious. My husband loves them and they freeze super well. So the soup just finished. I'm adding some leftover Parmesan cheese and some heavy cream because I like to have creamy soups. That's like some of my favorite. And then that just needs to cool. And for breakfast time, I'm just doing some yogurt parfaits. So this is the whole Greek yogurt. It's full fat, that's what you wanna get. And I just sweeten it up and make it vanilla with vanilla extract and the Stevia vanilla sweet leaf. I will have that link down below. I get mine off of Amazon. I just put the frozen berries in the bottom of these jars. That's what I had in the freezer. And I'm topping it with some candied pecans, which I actually have a recipe. It's in one of my vlogs and I'll link it up above and the hemp seeds I'm putting on top as well. Now I'm making two different salads. The two on the right are going to be taco salad, and then the two on the left are going to be the Mac Daddy salad. So for the taco salad, it's the lettuce, tomato, olives, jalapenos, and pickled onions. And I'm putting sour cream and salsa and also cheese in some jars for it. That way it's not gonna get soggy while it's sitting in there for my husband to take for lunches throughout the week. And for the Mac Daddy salad, it's sesame seeds, tomato, red onion, and we're making a Thousand Island dressing. Look at how it's storming and raining outside. The storm like literally came out of nowhere and it's super windy. Of course it ruined all my lighting for my meal prepping. <laughs> I'm flipping my salmon patties, putting them back in the oven and working on the like hot dog things. So this is um, like a fathead dough. This recipe is actually out of Craveable Keto. So I'm just making her version of fathead dough and you just wrap it around the hot dogs and you bake and it's kind of like the pigs in a blanket. That's what I was thinking of. 
These are really great for kids and also for traveling because you just have to quick heat them up and they're not messy and I really, really like them a lot. Now I'm just gonna cook up two packs of grass-fed beef. I'm going to portion out half of it and season it with just chili powder and cumin and stuff for the taco salad. And then the other half is just salt and pepper and that's going to be used for the Mac Daddy salad. I also made some brownies, which you can find that recipe. I will link it above and below for you guys. I already have this on my channel and these are absolutely delicious. Okay, it is actually two and a half hours later. So this actually took me a little bit longer than my other meal preps that I've been doing. Over here we have two taco salads with sour cream and salsa and cheese because I didn't wanna you know, put it in there so that way the salad would get soggy. And then this is the taco meat. So it's just ground beef. And then I put some chili powder and cumin, oregano, salt and pepper, that type of thing. I don't have enough little dishes in order to portion it up, so I'll just have to put it in another dish once my husband actually takes it, but I didn't wanna dirty all the dishes today. Then this is called like the Mac Daddy salad. It's kind of like um, a Big Mac in salad form. It's really good, I've had it before. So this has like onions and pickles, sesame seeds. There's cheese on the side, the Thousand Island dressing, and then this is the ground beef that's gonna go with that. Then we have the tuna casserole, which actually like looks really good and I really am super excited about that one. This is the soup that also turned out really amazing. So that was great. This just literally has like a bunch of leftover vegetables in it. It's still super hot. It's been like sitting here for forever. Then these are the berry parfaits with some of the pecans and hemp seeds on top. I bagged up two bags of carrots so that way my husband can use up these little hummuses. This is the hot dogs like that are wrapped in like the fathead dough. These are like absolutely delicious. I've made those before. And then we have some salmon patties. These are great to even freeze. They're great to eat cold and hot. We love them cold with like mustard. So that's everything over here. And then I actually have some brownies in the oven that are cooking. So there's some keto brownies in there. So I also still have a couple more meals. I still have the whole bag of frozen salmon, but I don't wanna like cook it now and then have to reheat it up. I kinda like my salmon fresh. So I'm just gonna wait and cook that with like some vegetables, um, but I'll wait since that's like already frozen, it's not gonna go bad. And then I also still have the hamburger patties in there that I'm using as like Salisbury steak, but I kinda wanna make that as a fresh meal for my husband because I wanna make caramelized onions and a mushroom gravy with that. And then I was gonna roast the head of cabbage and I have one bag of radishes left, so I was gonna roast those as well and make that into just like a fresh meal. And then I have two bags of frozen broccoli left and I think two bags of cauliflower rice. So I still have like a couple meals in the freezer, like at least two or three meals in the freezer. So that's great. So if this doesn't get us like all the way throughout the week, then I'll start using my freezer stuff. So I probably won't even have to go to the store in September if I'm doing carnivore and my butcher box is coming. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. I really like making these meal prep videos because even though it's a little bit longer since I have to like move the camera and film and stuff. At least I'm like super productive and I always feel like I'm getting a bunch of stuff done and I'm filming a video all at the same time. Don't forget if you want my brownie recipe, I actually already have it even though I didn't show like myself making it. There's a whole recipe video so I will link that above and below for you guys. Probably below. It only lets me link a couple things up above. But, oh, and then also the salmon patty video is also a video so that you can learn how to make in a different recipe video. If you like these videos, like definitely leave a comment down below telling me like what you like about these videos because if you like them enough, I'm not going to stop making them. I like doing this once a week. Um, if you wanna see anything like different on them, let me know or, you know, I don't know. I know I shared a bunch of tips in my first one, but if you want me to always share some tips, I can do that too. And I think that's it. So give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you all in another video. Bye guys.